Brothers and sisters, celestial energies, brother wisdom. I uh, just want to come to you guys with a quick video. Um, watching brother RFG, um, something triggered in me. All right, as he was talking about um, who we are, the original people. We, uh, even though he says he he said human, we know that we are nature. And not human. Humans are hybrids, all right, which are these earth beings, so-called white folk. They're the humans, all right? We are nature. We call ourselves netter nature. Um, I've always expressed myself, Osiris, myself, Sima. Um, I've always expressed that our duty is to protect the planet. And one thing that Brother RFG brought out was the fact that the core of our planet was a dark sun. All right. Which is like a pituitary gland that is actually heated up. And that's what's heating up right now. And because the dark sun within our planet, just the pituitary gland is heating up, we are also heating up, which means that the vibrations are getting even greater. Our vibrations are flowing because our planet's vibrations is flowing out. We created the planet and the planet recreated us. We created the planet in 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 our likeness and then the planet recreated us in her likeness, in the flesh. We so-called black people all over the world are the dark energy cells of the planet. Each one of us is a universe. We've talked about that before. Each one of us is a universe. All right. We being a universe means that we are a macroverse on our planet and in our planet. Our duty, our 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 stern duty is to protect the planet. This is why the cosmos, Mother Cosmos, gave us all of these powers that we have and had. But right now, since our planet was invaded by these, this virus, and they put a spell on the original dark energy cells of the planet, we could no longer operate as the fully functional beings that we were created to be. This is why now it's important that we understand about going within because inside of us are several black holes. You have you have um, your seven chakras. You have your seven chakras. All right, your root chakra, that's a black hole. Your sacral chakra, the black hole. Your solar plexus chakra, black hole. Your heart chakra, that's a black hole. Your throat chakra is a black hole. Your mouth chakra is a black hole. All right, your third eye chakra is a black hole. Your crown chakra is a black hole. We have seven black holes within us that we can go into and pull out energy. We've been duped. This is the only way to break the spell that these archons put upon us is to go within ourselves. And this is your meditation. All right. All right, is your meditation going into yourself? All right, tapping into your intuitary gland. All right, you have your pituitary gland, but you have an intuitary gland. Intuitary gland, which is a gland that with that's in you, that's designed for you to go inside of yourself, and an intuitary gland. All right, and you can go inside of any of the any of your um 
black holes. And inside of these black holes, you have libraries of information. And they're all in the, 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 the cells of your blood. The cell, the, 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 they're all in the cells of your blood. They're, the, the information written in the walls of your blood cells. All right. Now, inside of those black holes are black holes, which means you can go deeper within yourself. And some people say, oh, you just stuck on yourself so much. Why not? And this is why we worshiped ourselves, because we went into ourselves and made ourselves more powerful. Now we were taught to worship some outside deity that has no power whatsoever. Zeus can't give you any power, no matter how you put it. Jehovah, Yahweh, Jesus, God, Allah, they're all Zeus. He can't give you no power. He dealing with shit his own self. So we are the dark energy cells of the planet designed to protect the planet. Now we've been duped into, oh, these are laws. We got to follow this law and follow that law. When we realize, and this is why Mother Nature, Mother Cosmos is all coming together and restoring us as a whole, all right? Restoring us. That Kundalini, all right? Yeah, Kundalini, all right? Mother Cosmos, Mother Nature, Mother Universe, Mother Galaxy, all restoring us so that we can come together and begin to destroy the virus on our planet that has got us to think that their ways and their methods are just so beautiful, running after money, clothes, and cars, instead of going deeper into ourselves. We're the dark energy cells of the, world, of, of the planet. We are the cells of the planet. These or beings are steadily trying to dig to the center of the planet to try to attack the sun, the center sun. They know that we have our planet has a sun in the center of it and it's becoming hotter and it's becoming bigger. And as our sun's vibrations rise, so do our vibrations rise. But we are the ones who initiated that. When we made the decision to awaken and our awakening caused the, uh, a trigger effect of an awakening everywhere else. Now, Antarctica is the last pole to heat up. And when Antarctica heats up and completely falls, this ice completely falls, these orb beings are going to have hell to pay. And we have already did the chance for an, an, an Antarctica for the temperature in Antarctica to rise well above 200 degrees. We've already did that chant. All right. So um, very soon we're going to do an, an Antarctica mass meditation where we're going to send our energies into Antarctica to heat up that portion of our planet all right, so that all the ice all over the world, even the mountaintops, will no longer be. <laughs> there will be no safe place for these orb beings whatsoever. They run to the mountains right now because they think it's a cool place. Even they can't stay on the mountains because the electricity is too high for their bodies. All right, so... Right now, nature, everything is turning against them. But we are the dark energy cells of the planet. And we being the dark energy cells, what do cells do? Cells protect. Cells build. Cells create more cells. All right? The cells in your body go within their self to create more of themselves. 
That's your phoenix. That's your phoenix. So we dark energy beings literally have the phoenix energy within us and don't even know it. Everything is within. The dark energy cells, the the, the and, and how how they replicate themselves. So when a when a cell is getting ready to die, it goes within itself and then it rebirths itself. This is our life. This is why these orb beings had to take out organs to try to replicate do a replica of what or who we are to try to live. We're the dark energy cells of the planet. We're the cells of the planet, dark energy cells. And it's important that we understand who we are and the position that we have and how powerful this position is. These orb beings want to tell us, oh, you know, you can't kill, you, know, you can't do this, you can't do this. Why can't we? Our duty is to protect the planet. And this shit is long overdue, some 400 something years. Long overdue. So let's get ready to go inside within ourselves, guys. And like I say, I'll, I'll help you guys with a, a mass meditation on the inner self. All right. <laughs> Everything has to be done according to cosmic order, though. Okay. Everything is according to cosmic order. But our people are awakening. And it's because of us. Who originally awakened. Sister Nelson, Sister Debbie Nelson, Deborah Nelson, I know you still remember some years ago. What was that? 2012, I believe. That was 2012. That was 2012. When we did that very first mass meditation, I, I actually conducted a, a mass meditation in 2012. And... I think it was her, her through through her original group, the Indigenous Peoples, and uh, I said we need a mass meditation, and then I designed the mass meditation, and we started meditating at a certain time. We started meditating at a certain time that we were meditating, and we and we did it for like a week straight, and people were starting to get weary. But we did it. And our mass meditations that we did as the original people, we're not talking about these people in India and Sri Lanka, all that stuff here. No, no, we're talking about the original people that were brothers and sisters in Africa who were on the, a part of that group and uh, that, that, that Facebook group. There were brothers and sisters in Africa, brothers and sisters in Europe, brothers and sisters that's down in Australia and all, who were all linked to it. And we all got together and we met, we had a mass meditation on certain things. And we literally shook the cosmos at our awakening because even the scientist says that is something going on where the cosmos has shook. We literally shook the cosmos at our awakening. So it's because of us awakening. I know you remember that, Sister Nelson. I know you remember that, Deborah. You know, you've been with me for a long time, sister. All right. Um, and I, I know you and, and I know you uh, are growing stronger because I'm watching you. Um, but that very first mass meditation that I conducted was a very powerful um, event that happened. Because that set the precedent for everything that's going on now. And our meditation that we did, as we awakened, the energy went throughout the entire planet and awakened so many other of our people. Now it's time for us to go to do this uh, inner self meditation. All right. So we'll be doing it soon. But just want to talk about we are the dark energy cells of the planet and our planet created us to procreate among each other to protect and to build and we've got to start doing our duties and not listen to these orc beings who are the virus of the planet they are the virus of the planet they're the ones who invaded 
Our planet didn't create a virus. A virus invades. Your body doesn't naturally just create a virus. A virus invades. And it sets itself. So this virus has been here too long. And it's time now to inoculate the virus. Inoculation is a must. Right? So yes, we're the dark energy cells of the planet. And uh, we're getting ready to do what we got to do. And see, when you deal with when you deal with the protective cells, when the original cells of a body begin fighting a virus cell, the virus will want to infiltrate itself into that cell, and that what that because that cell has is it says no 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 I'm going to protect this body. The cell has a force field over it, where that virus will want to go inside, and it can't get inside. All right. And what is what is the cell does? The cell gets on top of it, then another cell gets on top of it, another cell gets on goes around it, and it heats up, and that's your fever, and it heats up around the virus, and it causes the virus to dissipate. All right, and this is where we get ready to go. Our minds, our bodies, we are the original dark energy cells, the protection of the planet. This is who we are. And our duty is to protect the planet. War is the only answer. When your body has a cold, what happens? Your body goes to war within. There's a war within you. You start coughing up phlegm, getting rid of the of, of, of the mucus bills up to, to, to spit out the, the massive amounts of virus. Your body heats up. And and the heat is, is all these all your cells attacking the viruses. And there's a war going on within you. When you have a cold, there's a war going on within you. Because the virus wants to take over your body. So now, within our planet, here on our planet, the war has to begin. And it's already begun because now we're heating up. Our vibrations are increasing. And this virus is steadily trying to infiltrate now it's time for us to put up our force fields, which means that we have to go within ourselves, the intuitary gland. Let's go into ourselves even deeper than we have ever gone and go into the black holes within the black holes within the black holes. And this is where you find the most powerful part of yourself, deep within yourself, going deep within the cosmos within you, and when you go into the deep, deep within the cosmos within you, you're actually tapping into the cosmos that's outside of you. Because that four, which is above, is also below. All right. That's about all I got for you guys right now. I'll catch you guys later. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all. Prepare yourselves for war. Peace.